but it's not heaven sent. Our journey begins in the climbing mecca of Boulder, Colorado. There's a tradition of hard, scary climbing that has been flourishing here since the 1970s, when lines were established in a way that minimized protection and guaranteed adventure. In the years since, bolt protection has allowed climbers to focus on pure difficulty. But today, a group of young guns is bringing back the bold, traditional methods, foregoing the safety of bolts and placing their own gear on ultra-hard, naturally protected routes. There's a movement towards seeing what you can do on gear. Searching out for lines that we can climb that are just as hard as your hard sport climbs, but drag climbs. Just blew this guy out on that fall. That's what inspires us. Who is fine. Ah! It scares the shit out of me. Just fucking going for it. That's what it is. It's just going for it. There's something awesome about doing a route and placing gear that adds this extra mental challenge. You place a piece of sketchy gear and you just think about what's going to happen when you fall. But then you just totally convince yourself that the gear is good and that you don't have to worry, you can just focus. Mastering the art of natural protection has allowed Boulder's elite few to establish groundbreaking first ascents and to push traditional climbing to a whole new level of difficulty. You're out there and you have to rely on your climbing ability and your confidence to get you through the moves. Boulder's new generation is redefining the possibilities of hard trad climbing. Perhaps nobody lays it out on the line more often than El Dorado resident Hank Kaler. Is this Hank's place? Yeah, this is Hank's place. Nice. This dog just up on the floor, so you're in. Oh, my dog just chundered all over. Hank is among the boldest climbers in El Dorado Canyon. Good times in Eldo living in a trailer with a mastiff that barfs everywhere. Oh, at least it's not a big turd. He's got a reputation for risky capers and self-inflicted injuries. I grew up playing hard, playing rough, hanging out with the wrong crowd. After 39 years of broken limbs, <gasps> Look at my leg! head injuries, it's called a horseshoe procedure, and brushes with the law, handcuffed me to a gurney naked and stuck 250 stitches in my body with me. Hank is still making headlines. Every time I Jumping off the Embassy Suites Hotel in Denver, my chute opened backwards, and I barely had time to go, Fuck! and then, boosh! And I'm like whitewashed in blood, sitting there next to a bed going, dude, you're back inside the building. It was just the biggest mind fuck I could imagine. Like, oh, you're gonna be on the news. These days, Hank's been hanging with his bros in Eldo Canyon, climbing so-called death routes. I got nothing better to do after work. You know, might as well go get scared. The lion. If you blow any of the hard moves, your belayer better be yanking some slack up or you're going to hit the ground shattering everything from the waist down. Your soul has to be redlined. It's when you can focus the most. Being dangerous is when I'm most comfortable and, you know, once a decade it blows up in my face. But other than that, fuck it, man, I'll deal with the consequences. It keeps daddy happy, keeps me sane. I might be a funny personality, but, you know, you just can't compete with, like, Matt Siegel and those guys. They're doing what I'm doing, but, like, a number grade harder. 24-year-old Matt Siegel is a staunch believer in using natural pro no matter how hard the climb. Why do this instead of a 513 sport climb? Because this is way more bitchin'. And perhaps no route in the area 
upholds Trad's style in the face of difficulty more than must have been high, a notorious X-rated line in El Dorado Canyon. The route's entire 513 crux is protected by a single half-inch knife blade. For the difficulty, it's probably the scariest of all the harder trad climbs in the boulder area. If the knife blade rips, you're probably gonna get really, really hurt. It's insecure slapping up this refrigerator block. Definitely scary. You're like the most run out from the pin, and then you get to place a small stopper. You have to deal with the mental aspect of being on lead. It's just all about kind of keeping your shit together, not letting your wheel spin too much while you're up there. You get like a purple C3 size piece. All I have to do is like, like one move up. On. Ah! After I took the whipper, it was totally spooked, just like threw me off. I was like, why? Like, is it really worth it? You know, it's definitely a question that comes up. But for the most part, I try to stay focused and not even think about that kind of tied back in and, and did it that day. Afterwards, the reward is definitely worth it. Fuck yeah! Oh, yeah. Woo! The sharp end has no strict definition 